Hey, there we go. Good evening, guys. I'm happy to see you again. How are you, how are you guys doing? Karen, Rodrigo, it's nice to see you again, guys. Hello, nice to see you again, too. Thank you. How are you doing today, Karen? How was your day going? It was a little bit busy. I have to work in, a, in several reports, sales reports. Oh. And um, yes, I'm feeling a little bit tired today, but it was great. But it was great. I can imagine. Thank you, yes. Very good. I'm happy to hear that you're doing fine, and I can imagine uh, that you feel tired because I'm tired too. Probably mm -hmm. because we are getting closer to the end of the year, so maybe we need some vacations. I don't know if you had your vacations yet. Uh no, yet. But at the end of the year, um. Well, my department uh, is having vacation since December 24 to January 2nd. So we will have an, an entire week. Awesome. Okay, very good. Hopefully you can get some time to relax, recharge batteries, and then you can come back even stronger. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And are you having your vacations already? No. I have not had my vacations yet because uh, I requested my vacations about two months ago, but mm -hmm. it seems like they want me to work like for these next three months. So I'm having my vacations until mm -hmm. February. So mm -hmm. no vacations for me. And do you work in a call center also? No, I don't. No. no. Ah, okay. Okay. I work at something different, but uh, I mean, they all they want me to work on on December. So in December, so at the end, uh, it's really awful. But it is what it is, right? There is yeah. nothing that I can do. Yeah, sometimes is is high season in several uh, companies, right? Exactly, that's exactly what happens. Don't sometimes. So yeah, well, thank you so much, Karen, and hopefully we can have some vacation. Hopefully we can go to the beach or something like that. That would be great. <laughs> Maybe some of you guys can invite me. I would love that. <laughs> right, guys, uh, thank you for coming. Uh, silence. <laughs> Excuse me? Awkward silence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, not, nobody wants to invite me, so yeah, that's fine. I know. <laughs> uh, I hear news about... about... About Insofar, that it says that will be the solve. Is it true? Oh, you mean that? Yeah, I know what you mean. Yes. So you're saying about uh, that rumor that they were saying that like Insofar was coming to an end and that there, there would not yes. be any more Insofar uh, classes and that kind of things? Yes. Well, that is a very interesting question. I, I think that uh, I, as far as I know, my understanding is that everything is going to like continue the same, but mm -hmm. it is going to be administrated by like somebody else. It's not going to be like in support, but it's going to be like some other entity. I don't know exactly uh, who it's going to be, but mm -hmm. I think that we are going to still continue with the classes and all of that, as far as I know. Well, I heard I that so. it's going to be better now. But, well, this is what I heard, right? That it's not the ending, it's like a new beginning. But it's going to be better because it says that it's going to, they are going to have like a, um, better courses or different courses, more oriented to technology and things like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I heard something like that too. So that's what they said. I'm not really sure about how it's going to work, honestly. But I think that 
what they say is that they want to make it better. You know, that's what they say. So hopefully that is the case. So you guys can have like better, uh, you know, access to information, learning, uh, environments and materials and all of that. So hopefully that's the case. But I don't know exactly how it's going to work. Honestly, Frank, Walter, I, I don't know. Okay, I was a little bit worried about it because um, this is, um, I think that is a good way for many people that uh, don't have access to be paying something free. Absolutely. Yep. And I think that is, in support when we have an end, I think that is not good for many people. Even when I, I used to work in another place and I know that every company that is private, they are paying to insert for 1% of every employee mm -hmm. they have. But those kind of works, they if they didn't even, they don't let you use this um, access. So I think that it is kind of bad. But um, I don't know. I was thinking about what is going to happen with this uh, entity. Can I may say? Can I say that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I just was thinking about it. Yeah, right. That's yeah. I think that we all probably had the same question at some point, Walter. It was like, so what is going to happen? Is it going to, uh, is something going to change? Uh, is, uh, am I going to continue to have the same uh, opportunities that I have? Uh, is it going to continue to be free? So all that kind of things. Just mm -hmm. like you said, in support is great because I I have also uh, taken uh, like in support classes uh, for other kind of things. And I mean, it's a really good opportunity because they give you uh, all the access and you don't have to pay for that and that's yes. that's amazing i mean uh, i i can think of any other place that uh can give you uh what insa4 uh gives you right now yes so i totally agree yes uh <laughs> let me tell you my story because i uh like i mentioned before i had classes with insa4 so i didn't know exactly how it worked i just uh signed up for it uh, and I filled out like a form. I sent all the information that they asked me to send to submit. Uh, I submitted all of my information and then uh, I had classes uh, for, I think it was about a month, just like you guys. So it was in English, it was something else. Uh, I was trying to learn something about electricity and that kind of things, because I think that that is something very useful. useful. Like you can yes. do that at home, things like that. So I didn't know exactly how it works, but they provide you with a, a notebook. They give you the, the handbook as well uh, with all the information about the class and things like that. So, I mean, that was, that was really nice. I really liked it because I, when I started like in high school and then college and all of that, uh, I didn't have any of that. I mean, I had to pay for everything. Like, uh, if I needed a notebook, I had to buy one. Or if I needed uh, anything, uh, I would have to pay for it. So it was really good. And I think that InsaForb is doing a great job. And hopefully things can continue the same. I hope so. Yes, me too. Me too. Thank you, Walter. All right. Well, guys, thank you so much for coming. Dinora, how are you doing today? I'm fine, teacher. Um, my day was very busy. Busy, okay. And a lot of traffic. I see. <laughs> yes, but yeah. um, I'm well. Very good. And how is your baby doing? Oh, um, he's well too. And yeah. he is better. Hmm? I'm glad to hear that. Very good, Dinora. Thank you. Awesome. Very good. Yeah, I mean, I think that I'm. I don't have any kids yet. I don't have any children yet. But I know that 
and I can imagine that when you have kids, when you have a little a boy or a girl, uh, if they get sick, then you may uh, be really concerned. You may be <laughs> worried that something could happen to them. So I, I think that it's a, a relief when you know that they are safe, that they are healthy. Uh, just like they say, ya saben cómo dicen, ¿verdad? Es como con que nazca sano mi hijo, pues ya, ya es un, algo, una bendición, pues. Entonces, yo nunca he tenido hijos, pero creo que cuando tenemos hijos es, es algo que eh, es una sensación de, de preocupación de, 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 debido al amor que tenemos, ¿verdad? Hacia ellos. So, I'm happy to hear that your child is doing just fine, Dinora. Very good. Well, if we have Jacqueline here. Jacqueline, I like your hair. Thanks. I'm mechuda ahorita. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah. Very good. That's and you a... look. <laughs> yeah. No, I have a, a little bit of headache. Oh, I see. I need to I know what relax, you mean, yeah. I know relax what you mean, the yeah. hair. Mm -hmm. you have like um you have your hair like that uh sometimes that can cause you headaches so yeah i know what you mean, mm -hmm. I know yes. what you mean. very good yeah well you should take something maybe you should take some kind of ibuprofen or something like that for the i pain. took one like an hour but i think it's because of the i don't know maybe you're the stressed. rest of the team but i think i i like it's kind of hot today it is yes it is yeah you're right i have a busy day also oh, i was I in the traffic and at the in the afternoon and yeah that's awful i think that, that we caused all... me the, 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 the pain uh -huh. i know yeah we all hate traffic especially when there are you know uh, drivers that do crazy things I, I don't know about you guys but that sometimes makes me angry like when they don't uh turn the um the signal lights mm -hmm. or when they have uh, when they suddenly stop or when they uh cut me off that kind of things makes me really angry and we have to deal with that especially if there is a lot of traffic right yes what do you hate the most jacqueline let's say that you are driving on the street and then something happens what what is the thing that you don't like the motorcycles in You're front right. of me. Oh my <laughs> yeah. yeah, I see. I think that there are a lot of people that think just like you. And there is a reason for that because I think that a lot of people that uh, drive motorcycles, they are not, how can I say this? They are not in the middle. They drive in the, in Aurias, I don't know what to say. <laughs> and but someone explained me that uh, sometimes if the the car that goes in front of the motorcycle stop suddenly stop, uh, it's kind of difficult for them to stop, mm -hmm. and that's why they they drive on the edges. The edges. Ah, I see. Yeah. <laughs> but uh -huh. uh, when they go in those places, it's like that is a space that I can use <laughs> that's for me not for them <laughs> so that's they can what... continue driving in the imaginary uh, <laughs> thing okay. i don't know i, see, uh, I think I... they drive in everywhere wherever yes. they want yeah <laughs> yes they appear from uh i don't know from everywhere yes they are in the... <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah i feel you I feel you. <laughs> yeah, I can, yes. see, I, I can see that you girls don't like uh, people who have a motorcycle. I can see that. No. no. <laughs> do you have one? Yes, actually. Do you have yes. a motorcycle? I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. That's why. Okay. It makes me. It's really fun. Funny for me. What you guys are. What you girls are saying because I mean I have a motorcycle. I'm not like them, uh, because not mm. all of us are the same. You know, <ríe> me siento ahorita como mm -hmm. lo, que, lo que decimos siempre, ¿verdad? No, no todos los hombres somos iguales, así que así me siento not ahorita. No, every woman <ríe> are bad drivers. También. Yeah. 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 Another, yeah. Thing, another thing that I hate is the, the big trucks driving in the left uh, side. Uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. I don't know why. 
They do. That, or if yeah. the, the loads changes because they it's supposed to they drive at the left on the right, right lane. side of the side. Uh -huh. Yes. Right lane, yes. That's true, yes. That means I don't know when that changed. I don't know either. I don't know. I have mm -hmm. no idea, Jacqueline. That makes me angry too. Because uh, mm -hmm. I mean sometimes you want you are in a hurry, you want to mm -hmm. uh, just speed up a little bit. And then it seems like they are on the left lane. You want to accelerate, but you cannot do it because they mm -hmm. are on the left lane when they are supposed to be on the right lane. So that's yes. really annoying too. I know what you mean. I don't like that. Si a veces me pasa. Yo, yo por lo general, la verdad que sí tengo una motocicleta, como les decía. <laughs> Así que no me odien, por favor. <laughs> that's why you laugh, right? That's why I laughed, yes. <laughs> just, he just is still quiet when we were talking about motorcycles <laughs> yeah i was thinking like I i'm gonna let them say whatever they want and then <laughs> i will tell them that i own a motorcycle so even you... if i even if i knew that you have a motorcycle i will say it <laughs> <laughs> that's fine yeah that's no problem yeah i mean i, I can take that that's fine <laughs> no problem <laughs> uh because most of the men said, ah, no, the women are bad drivers. And no, I Women. am not. Yeah. Women, sorry. Well, right. Yes, I'm not. I never had a ticket and never, never had a choque. Nunca chocado. You've never been in an accident? In 20 or... years. Uh -huh. In 20 years. I don't know, freak. <laughs> Walter. Walter says that he doesn't believe you, Jacqueline. I'm a like very the, good uh... <laughs> okay. <laughs> say it. Say it. <laughs> yes, also say. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's not true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Yes, I mean, I don't think that that is true. What they say that women are are bad at driving. I don't think so. And there may be some who are not good at driving. Uh, I can accept that. And probably I, I agree with that, but not all, okay? Not all of them. There are women who are very good at driving. And I know that. I know that because I know a few of them. And Jacqueline is one of them, I'm, I'm sure. Just like she said, she has never had a ticket uh, in 20 years, right? So that means that she's good. That means she's good. She knows what she's doing. She's an expert. Very good. Bueno, vamos a ver. Ahorita vemos poquitos, la verdad, guys, pero no hay problema. Probablemente los demás tuvieron algún eh, problema. Eh, no sé, quizás el internet o algo. But that's fine. We can uh, we can do it. Uh, just us. That, that's okay. So this is a really interesting topic. I liked it when it comes to cars and driving and all of that. Have you ever had the opportunity to describe a car accident or something? Because that sometimes can be hard. Like, for example, right now we were trying to say things like I was on the left lane, the right lane. We sometimes forget that kind of vocabulary. So, and that's very, that's very good, right? I think that when it comes to us, probably in our country, we don't really use like addresses uh, the way that we should. Because, for example, probably in the U.S., they, they have names for all of these streets. They have numbers, so they can identify uh, like highways, roads, streets, exits, all, of the, all that kind of things, right? But we don't, we don't do that. It's just like, so I was going close to that uh, mango tree, and then uh, there was another church and things like that. That's the way we do it, right? <laughs> Pero realmente, oh, Karen. Well, the country where they really use arbol tree or mango tree, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. is Nicaragua. I'm mm -hmm. not sure if you had the opportunity. Also Costa Rica. Also Costa Rica. Yeah, also Costa Rica. <laughs> exactly. Yes, they, yes, literally have the addresses in that way. And in oh, Nicaragua, really? they guide by the, um, um, I think it's a big lake, mm -hmm. lake, 
that they have in the middle of the country. Uh -huh. Yes, but they guide um around the oh. lake. Oh, I see. So they say, like, for so example, it's, it's north cold. of the lake or south yeah. of the lake, things like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. I see. I didn't know mm -hmm. that. That's like two blocks left from the lake or something like that. And yes, Costa Rica also. But it's worse, Nicaragua. I see. So have you been to Nicaragua, Karen, or to Costa Rica? Uh, Costa Rica, yes. Um, I have been there like three times because I have um, my nephew living there oh. and um, my sister. So that's why I had the opportunity to travel to. I see. So you're and I nephew, used to work here for Avianca. So oh. I had the opportunity to travel to that makes sense. countries. Yeah. That makes sense. Very good. Yeah, okay, I see. I see. Uh, there was, I think, I, I don't know if you can remember this, but you probably do. There was this one girl who used to work for Avianca. She got very famous because of something, because oh, yeah. of some video. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, she was in the her. United States, right? I think so, yes. Uh -huh. I believe so, yes. Yeah, and I knew her. People always complain about um, airlines. So it's, it's like common. <laughs> yes, I know. I know. I know what you mean. Yeah, people always complain about everything. So, I mean, for example, uh, there is always going to be somebody that is going to complain about something. So, yeah, that's, that happens all the time, right? You're, I, you're right. So, but she got very famous. About motorcycles. <laughs> for example, people complain yes. about <laughs> motorcycles. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, uh, you have one motorcycle too, right, Walter? <laughs> no, no, no. I don't, I don't think Walter. Well, yeah, Walter no. sounds. Walter sounds like she has a car. No, but I know. Uh, what happened is Jacqueline sounds like. Uh, I know that she is kind of sick, and I know that she will get mad really fast at this moment. That's why uh, I'm saying that. <laughs> No, I don't think so. No, actually, no. I'm, I'm a very easy going. <laughs> Jacqueline looks really yeah. easy going. And yeah. no, no. I have heard those those kind of comments all my life. Uh, that I have an experience when I was at the university. I was with a uh, with my uh, uh, classmate. It was uh, the one where I was working. The my my. This is this is whatever I don't I know. Mm -hmm. And uh I was driving, uh, my father just to have a microbus, a chiquito. No? Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, we were closing the the file for the university and we were running from one place to another in the university. But we have to go to the bank mm -hmm. to pay, it, I don't remember what. And uh I told him, let's go. Run, run, run. It must be today. We have to close this today. And we went to the bank. And uh, when we uh, come back to the university, I arrived and I was, it, it, it's for logical that, that you have to park in the outside position. I don't know. <laughs> the position de salida. I don't know <laughs> how to say it. And mm -hmm. uh, I just arrived and I have I have in my, in my mind I have all the measures exactly what I have to do how, every movement and I arrived and and went and did like like that and when I just stopped to see uh, if I wasn't on, on the line my my classmate told me hey, if you want I can I can park the car and I was like. <laughs> <laughs> it offends me <laughs> and uh, I uh, ignore him and I just <laughs> perfect it's perfect and he was just like, okay I understand I know that you can drive so calm <laughs> down <laughs> because it's offend me <laughs> you, 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 thought that, offend me. You, th you thought that that was offensive you, you, you thought that he was being rude right you, you felt like he was being rude. He doubt. He doubt of me. No. He I questioned. Can't he I questioned know your how to skills. Do it. Yes, I know how to do. You know and that's do. why now, 20 years, 
after uh, it makes me laugh because I know that I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Yeah, I know. I mean, if, if probably because of everything that was, was that was going on at that time, because uh, you were uh, in a hurry and you had a lot of things to do. Probably you had you were stressed uh, because of the no. situation. Uh, no, no, I mean, I what, what I'm trying to say is that you were in a hurry, uh, probably ah. most likely, and uh, probably that that was the reason why you found it offensive and made you upset because i mean i don't think that uh, that no <laughs> at that moment i was young i was young uh -huh. and also my say my, my son said you think that you have the the manual of the perfect driver i don't think i have it i am the manual <laughs> of the uh... perfect driver <laughs> i see <laughs> bueno. <laughs> bueno, está bien, está bien. <laughs> I like it. Oh my guys, sorry, I lost. Donde estamos? Acá vamos a ver. Mm -hmm. 